Hello all my fellow muggles and welcome back to Sims World! If this is your first time here, a warm welcome. This is just a quirky place where we have fun doing super random things. <laughs> So first off, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone and I hope you're having an awesome festive holiday with all your loved ones. Looking back on 2019, it's been a year of trying new things. I started my blog, I started this YouTube channel and I moved to a different country. And in this video, you guys are going to see me learn how to sew. So I know that sounds super random between everything else I just said, but again, it's just been the year of trying out new things and starting new hobbies basically. So I've always been interested in sewing and before I moved over to the UK, my mom gave me my grandmother's sewing machine. So I decided that I needed to learn how to use it before I came over to the UK. So I decided that my first project would be to make matching Christmas pyjamas for my husband and I. Mainly just because we needed winter pyjamas. December in South Africa is a lot different to December in the UK, um, weather-wise. So South Africa it's peak summertime and in the UK it's rainy, it's cold, it's winter. <laughs> you guys get the picture. So I decided what better way to stay warm over the festive period than Christmas pajamas. So in this video you guys are going to see me put everything together from scratch, from cutting out the pattern to sewing everything together and then in the end hopefully Fingers crossed, we have a wearable product. <laughs> but obviously this did not happen in one day. So we're quickly gonna fly back to South Africa to start the video. And I'll see you guys at the end back here in Oxford to try on the final product. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show you guys like a close-up look of the pattern that I'm going to use. This is for my husband, like a nice retro 80s look. So I'm going to use this top one here without the band at the end. And then these pants. And then it's cool because then you have these as extras for later. And this one is for me, again, very retro. And then close up of the material. So this is gonna be um, the pants. So it's like nice and stretchy and soft and it's quite warm and obviously the Christmas pattern, that's exactly what I was looking for. And then the top is just gonna be like a nice light t-shirt material so as you don't get too hot. Okay, this is basically the pattern that I just showed you guys. This is for um, the male one. Sorry for the shadow, you guys can see me. So what I have to do is I cut out on the size that I want for each um, section that I need. So we're first going to do that and then I don't know really what comes next. <laughs> okay, so we've already encountered our first issue, which is that this is printed on both sides. <laughs> Which means I can't cut through it. So I first have to go get tracing paper or like maybe photo set, photo set, photocopy <laughs> the other side so I can cut through it. So step one is not happening today. We'll try again tomorrow. Okay, so we are back for round number two. Hopefully this time no hiccups and we can just cut away. I have my photocopy so I can cut both sides now. Yay. So basically I just have to stay on the indicated size line. If I do that everything will be fine. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> I mean cutting we learned that in primary school it can't be that hard. So 
Let's see if I can navigate my way around this. It feels like a map. And it's just like every way. So if I can find my scissors, we're gonna start. Okay, so I just had to come closer to show you guys that it's like, how am I supposed to know, like, where am I cutting? Like, what, what is this? What? I, I feel like I'm definitely gonna go wrong there. First piece is done. Yes, okay, so how I actually got around all the little lines, I used just like a pen and I traced it with a color just to see where I'm supposed to cut. Otherwise, I think it can get very confusing. But there it is, this is the front of the shirt. So when I'm going to put it on material, I will fold the material double and then you will have two of these. Ta -da! Okay, so only like 10 more to go. So all the pieces have been cut out. We've moved from the bed to the floor. Always around little Mila. So then you lay the pieces down on the material that you're going to use and you just pin it with a pin <laughs> just to fasten it and now I'm cutting out all the separate pieces that need to come together okay so today we are getting into the heavy machinery part <laughs> So far it's been really easy, just like cutting, nothing major, but now we're getting to the actual sewing part. We have to get these two pieces, it's the pants, so you can see at the back there's the material, so we have to get these two to look like. Um, to look like this one so as I mentioned I'm doing sewing classes so I did this one at the class um, and I ran out of time so I have to do the other one by myself I really hope it goes okay I had some difficulties when I did this one but at least there was someone to help me figure out what's going on and the problem with this material it's like quite stretchy and you can't really pull um, anything out of it so once it's been sewn it's like it's sewn so let's see how that goes and if I can actually do this by myself <laughs> have a success you'll see there is the first stitch I did just the straight and then this is the crisscross or zigzag thing that I'm using as the overlocking stitch I think it looks pretty good it's pretty even I can still improve on that but first step completed I can't believe I'm saying this but we are almost finished so I have one more stitch to do the overlock stitch on this one and then we're done with the basic part of the pants we still need to add some ribbing at the bottom and obviously the elastic but I mean the overall structure is there what is what is my hair doing <laughs> okay well let's get into it the very last stitch make sure all my seatings are right okay and we're 
done. So I just want to see if it will actually fit me. This one is mine. I hope the size fits. So let's see. I'm guessing this is the front. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's pretty comfortable. Obviously the elastic needs to come in, tie everything up. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good for my first pair of pants. <laughs> Okay, so I am back and we are almost at the end of creating my pajama sets. I'm so excited. It's been coming along really well. So I'm excited how the end product is going to look. But before we get ahead of ourselves, today I have to do the shirts. I'm going to sew it together here at the top and then put on the sleeves. It's going to be long sleeve because we're going to be in the winter. It's going to be freezing. Not looking too forward to that part. But yeah, putting on long sleeves. So let's get sewing. Okay, so a little bit of a problem. I forgot to put that little cap on me and this thing just like popped off. And now we have that, which means I have to sit and pull all of this thread out. That's going to be so fun. Finally, <coughs> just like Kiara. Shh. Shh. She wants to come in, but she's like soaking wet, so she can't. Um. Yes, we're finally back to two pieces. So back to basically where I began today. Yay, no progress whatsoever. Um, <laughs> the dogs are just in the state today. So I'm gonna attempt it again. I mean, it's such a small mistake. So that's the thing with sewing. Just always check that everything is fine because one small mistake can cost you so much. I'm sharing valuable tips here, Kiara. One mistake can cost you so much time. So let me not waste any more time, get sewing and get this done. So I caved and I let her come inside, even though she's wait, but look at her face. She's just so cute. And she was making a lot of noise. Mimi. Back to sewing. <sighs> I don't know what's going on today, but look at that. Why is it doing that? <sighs> I have to take it out again. Guess who is finally finished with their shirts it's like night time already and I only finished now like I'm so tired it wasn't a good sewing day I finally figured out why I was making all those knots in the back and then after that one of the needles broke so I had to replace the needle but it's done I have this shirt here <laughs> it's just a plain black shirt at the moment so in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys the final pajama set. I'm so excited. I'm just going to add a few finishing touches to the shirt still and make it a bit more Christmassy. So yeah, in the next clip, you'll see me trying on the pajamas. I hope you guys like it. I hope I actually like it. Let's see what it looks like. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. So I'm so excited to finally show you guys my Christmas pajamas. What do you guys think? Obviously, fit-wise, it could improve, but I'm just gonna go with, I've lost a lot of weight since I've been here. I feel like because it's pajamas, it's okay that it's not too form-fitting because 
it's just nice and chilled and comfortable. I definitely feel like the Christmas spirit came together. We have the little red Christmas tree on here and that matches like the red ribbon here at the neck and sleeves and then bottom of the pants. Also, I really think it fits the Christmas theme. And then the other thing was obviously suitable for winter. Um, I think it's like the right balance because the pants are quite thick. <laughs> and then the shirt is nice and light. So it's like a nice balance. You don't feel like you're suffocating when you're sleeping. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this over the Christmas time, just drinking my hot chocolate and chilling out. Next time I see you guys, it's probably gonna be in 2020, which is just absolutely crazy. I can't believe this year's at an end, but I just wanna wish you a happy new year. And if you like this video, remember to give it a like and let me know what you think of the final set in the comment section.